Pisces will now be having a look to see what kind of connection this is uh, and then of course moving on to any advice that will be helpful for you for this relationship to work so let's have a look and see what's coming up first around this connection so Pisces what's coming up around this connection here Okay, this is a destined connection, the star card and the wheel of fortune and the sun, all major arcana cards next to this connection, Pisces. Okay, this is part of the uh, a destined plan here for you. This is fate at play here. Um, something you've been waiting on with the hangman here. Now, I do feel with the hangman present, I feel like things are going to be very... Um, it's something that you've been waiting for, or this person holds the key to something you've been wanting in your love life. Uh, for example, if you've been wanting marriage, this person could be the one to offer you that. If you've been wanting children, this is the this is the love that could give you these opportunities because this is the world opening up and the Wheel of Fortune solidifying that this is a very divine time. It's a very auspicious relationship. Um, and I do want to say with the Star card, it's a relationship that's going to allow you to heal uh, Pisces, if you've been um, stuck, you know, um, romantically, okay, if you've been trying to heal or get over a heartbreak or uh, something like that, this love is going to give you strength and opportunity for that to happen. And this is very powerful for you. This is the letting go card often seen with the water vessels pouring out. Um, this is also someone that can um, find healing with you. All right, it's someone who wants to heal from certain things and they're going to find a lot of love and support in you, Pisces, because that's the kind of fishy that you are. Okay, you can definitely provide them with those things that they're looking for. But I think for some of you, if you do have a history with this person, I think um, they are coming up as your next love because the universe is sending you back to this person. And forgiveness and letting go of resentments and tensions is something that's coming up around. And, and this is very powerful. Because it could indicate the relationship succeeds from that point forward. So that's fantastic to see. I certainly think that's very refreshing. Um, but the star card, it's its a relationship that you're going to be exclusive with. So you're going to want to share. Um, you're going to feel very happy and very high with this person. So you're going to want to share it. You're going to want to show them off and vice versa. They're going to want to do that um, with you. I feel like with the star card, um, there's star quality. You know, this is seeing stars. This is the butterflies in the stomach. So this is, it's so amazing and so hopeful. And it's just bundled up in this beautiful little package that you're going to call a relationship, Pisces. And I do think you're going to be very happy with each other. Um, this is a sign of Aquarius and we do have Aries. So that's coming up. Something significant could happen around these times with this person. A lot of starts, new beginnings, um, but feeling very confident. Okay, com this is the both of you having a lot of faith in each other uh, and a lot of faith in your connection. The hangman, I think, complements the star. And I think it's because this, this person could come into your life at a time where you are the hangman. Vice versa, you could be meeting this person when they um, are upside down. And not that you are going to be the complete source of their happiness, but I think you're going to make, you're going to contribute to that so much more. And I think it's vice versa. They're going to come in and, and the relationship you're going to have, you know, um, together is really powerful. But it's, it might, I, I do want to say that it might be a little bit rocky at the start, Pisces. But isn't that often the case? Isn't the, isn't the ones where we have, where we're faced with the most adversity and complications turn out to be success stories? Isn't it out of adversity that we see the biggest triumphs and the biggest successes? So I want to say that at the beginning, you might face, be faced with some turbulence, but I also want to say with the hangman, it can be that this um this person, uh, this is about punishment and consequence. And it could be that this person, if there's a fault in the relationship, if there's a flaw, this person will be quick to judge. This person will be quick to give you the silent treatment. Um, they might be quick to, it's like they're pessimistic about it, Pisces. So you're going to have to turn that around, you know. We see the devil here. You're gonna to have to turn that around into the 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 the, the, um, the successful, the triumphant sphinx. So it is someone who's willing, who 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 might punish you for anything you do wrong or any way you can offend them, Pisces. 
and you can have very deep and resonating words and you you know where to hurt people Pisces so this is something you're going to have to look out for I think your ability to go through those challenges will be big but you will be faced with competition the sun card is opposition so you need to I think the advice here might be you need to change the way you come across uh, or change the what you say to this person um because words will be strong and the hangman will flip everything. This can be moodiness as well. Okay, there can be there's a there's a um, a moon here which can be cancer, uh, which can be moodiness. It is reversed, so I feel like this person's moods may throw you off at times. Um, but the wheel of fortune is here, which would indicate change, transformation, destiny. Yes, absolutely. Um, but also something to do with timing about being on the same page. I think you're both coming into this relationship on the same page with your wants, needs, and desires. So that's that's a very good thing, actually. Um, but something about cycles is coming up. This could definitely be the long haul. Um, Pisces, there could be a lot of um, surprises, twists and turns with this person somehow. A lot of newness with the sun. Um, the relationship could result in children for some of you. Uh, we see the sun card, but the sun is all about the self as well. So this person could be a little bit selfish at times, Pisces, and you can be selfless also at times. And I worry that that might get to, um, might get to their ego. Okay. If there's a lot of me, 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 this is what I want. This is what I want. And then you are all give, give, give. You're going to get them used to being in that state. And then and then I wonder, you know, what's going to happen from there. So it's important you do things for you. And do not forget about yourself in this relationship, Pisces. I think that's a big thing here for you with the Sun card. I do. Uh, let's see what's coming up in terms of advice. But uh, the Sun, you'll, you'll become more open to things than you previously were. And I think this person um, is going to be like this as well. Pisces, advice for Pisces for the next love. We have, what do you need to release? Okay, interestingly, that card has come up right on top of the star card. So this is... Um, Wanning Moon, what do you need to release? This is letting go from the past. Um, this person, this love is going to make you see what you're still holding on to. Any resentments or harboring any bad sort of um, bad energies around love, like if you've been hurt or you've been deceived. It's almost like this person, this love is going to make you see those things. Um, and for some of you, I feel like you might punish. I'm going to say the word punish. You might punish this person because of what someone else has done to you. Um, so the advice here would be is something that you need to release Pisces. It could be them as well. You might notice them treating you a certain way for things that, you know, at times I get the sense that one of you may feel responsible for a broken heart that you didn't break. Um, it could be you, it could be them, but I think the release is something to do with the healing and the blocks. And I think this is going to really open up some floodgates for the both of you. Um, but this is about getting, Pisces, there's going to have to be certain things you're going to have to eliminate from your life. Addictions, behaviors, words, ways of doing things. There is some sort of elimination process that needs to happen to make this work. It's something you, you feel you need to release. It's something that's overdue. Okay, you've been wanting to do this for quite some time. Uh, and I think this person is going to be the one that's going to accelerate that. I do. Okay, don't let pride get in your way. This has come up for a few signs. I think Sag and uh, Aquarius, um, from memory. Uh, don't let pride get in your way. Full moon in Leo. Okay, pride, Pisces, is going to be a big thing for you. Um, the ego. You're going to have to put aside that ego in order to get to this relationship. Um, you know, we've got Aries and Leo and they're both very carnal fire signs and they're aggressive and they can be fueled by competition. So I'm sensing that you may have similarities with this person in that regard, but I think you're going to have to really work on your pride ship. Okay. Um, the spiteful remarks, the comments you make, the words that run deep. You want to hit them where it hurts at times. Yes, you do it as a defense mechanism, Pisces, uh, but at the same time, 
it might be that you need might need to tone that down coming into this relationship because I do think you have someone who is quite sensitive in their mind, okay, that can get deeply offended with certain things um, is what I get from that. Full moon in Leo because that's going to be heightened. This is ego inflation with that large moon in Leo. So, but it could also work in reverse. Remember what I said, you might get them accustomed to a certain behavior like, and then, you know, if you're the one that's always calling, always planning things, always doing this, always doing that, always being the one to have the first word after a fight, you know, if you're constantly doing that, the expectation is, is going to be there from that person towards you. And then when you don't do it or you fail to do it or you change up your activity, it could it could really implode. OK, so that's something that you need to um, be mindful of. Okay, hold your vision. This is you keeping in touch with your dreams, your wants, your desires, and not letting that slip through your fingers just because you have a romantic connection or you feel like you've found that soulmate. It's very imperative that this person is able to deliver your values, dreams, and hopes and everything you've essentially wanted in a relationship. So you need to hold that vision. But in holding your vision, it also instills a little bit of hope. Um... So what I'm seeing here is that you need to have hope in this connection or you need to show this person that you have hope in this connection. So I think that's the that's the message I feel I'm getting with that holding your vision statement. This is a fixed moon, Pisces. You're going to have to be more decisive than indecisive in this relationship because the indecision might, might push this person away unless that's what you're planning to do. Okay, it's time to take action. New moon in Aries has uh, come up around the sun card. So a lot of initiative is going to be needed on your part. Um, you're going to have to step out of that comfort zone. Um, don't be afraid to speak up, okay, in this connection. Don't feel like this person can walk all over you, Pisces. Sometimes you can get into those zones where you're, you're, you're a bit of a doormat here, Pisces, maybe. So don't be afraid to take action. You know, the, the ram can be aggressive at times. And that's not to say you need to get aggressive, but sometimes you need to be more passive aggressive than just passive. Um, new moon in Aries. So a new challenging way of dealing with things emotionally is up is, is coming up here for you with this person. Um, don't be afraid to take the action that you need to to move the relationship forward. And if you need to release something, the, the new moon in Aries is telling you that that needs to happen, that a time to take action needs to happen from you, Pisces. So um, very interesting reading, but I will leave it at that. So thank you for watching. I do hope this has been helpful and I do hope to be able to connect very, very soon. So um, take care, Pisces.